finite Taking on moments Don't go to me up, set me up Baby, I don't want you That's what's up, no more love Me and you finite Taking on moments Don't go to me up, set me up Baby, I don't want you That's what's up, no more love Me and you are not two Every time, yeah, you make me wanna miss Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another tutorial here on the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a really cool, simple 8D audio effect that you guys have probably seen in a couple of my recent montages. It's super easy and simple to do, but also I'm gonna be showing you guys a couple other sound effects to add on top of that, just to give it that extra mwah. Make sure you guys drop a like on the video if you guys wanna see me do more tutorials. It helps me out greatly, and comment down below what tutorials you guys wanna see next. So this is how you do the 8D audio effect. So if you cover your left ear, it'll come out on the right side and if you cover your right ear it'll come out the left side it's insane <laughs> i'm just playing i'm just playing all right let's get in the after effects let's get in the after effects so once you have your clip or montage all finished and it's time to do sound effects you're, you're gonna want to figure out where you want to start to do the ad audio and in this case i already have it all marked out so we're gonna be going to where we want to start it click b so as you can see, you can see how my markers are laid out as both right, left, right, left, meaning it'll go from the right ear to the left ear to the right and so on. So after you have all your markers laid out, you want to click on your layer, go over to effects and presets. I already have it typed in, obviously, but you want to type in stereo mixer, grab that and drag it onto your layer. And Stereo Mixer comes with After Effects. You don't need any plugins or anything, so anyone can do it. So once you've added that, you're gonna click on your little stopwatches for the left level and the right level. And we're gonna click U on the layer to bring up our keyframes. So the left and right levels is both at 100, meaning it comes out both ears just like normal. So we're gonna go ahead to our next marker, and right here we have it on the right. So we wanna come out the right side. So in this case, we're gonna be keyframing those two and we're gonna make the left level zero, and we're gonna make the right level 130. And then our next marker is obviously gonna be transferring to the left. So we're gonna be changing the, we're gonna to go to our left marker, put keyframes right there, and we're gonna be changing the left level to 130. And we're gonna be changing the right level to zero. And that is as simple as it gets. And to work smarter, not harder, we have our right keyframes right here. So we're just gonna copy our right level keyframes. Control C and go to our next marker where it's on the right and Control V. And right here is our left channel levels. So we're gonna highlight those. Control C, Control V on our next left marker. And what's our next? Ours is our right. So we're gonna do the same thing with our rights. Control C and Control V. And then right here is where he shoots. So we, I wanted to come out both ears. So we're gonna be going scrubbing over to where it's our both keyframes. Control C, Control V. And that is about it. So once you have all your keyframes laid out, we're gonna be highlighting them, right clicking on it. And go to keyframe assistance and click on easy ease or f9 and now if you play it back and that's how easy it is to do the ad audio effect just like that but now we can take it a step further and add our little twist to it to make it sound even cooler so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be highlighting them clicking right here on our graph editor and we're gonna shrink this over like this. And we're gonna click on our first couple keyframes. We're gonna hold shift, grab this one, drag it over. This top one, drag it over. Click on our bottom one if we can. Drag this one over like that. And just like that. So just try to kind of follow along what I'm doing. Pretty much what is happening is for the both, it goes through the both channels for a while and then it has a sharp peak into the right. So without doing this, it's just gonna be floating to one ear to the other, kind of like a boomerang. But how we're doing it here is it's gonna pretty much shoot over really quickly to each ear. So what we do here is we're gonna be grabbing our this one, hold shift, drag it over, and drag it over grab our pink wait, ones you can see here and we're gonna be pushing this one over and pushing this one over like that. Pretty much we're gonna be going through this whole thing, doing the same type of thing over and over. 
So after you've done them all, the graph should look something like this. So once you've done that, this is what it should sound like. So another effect that we can do that is totally optional is we can add reverb. So if you go to our effects and presets, type in a reverb, drag that little reverb onto your layer. Once you've added reverb, we're going to be changing. So once you've added your reverb, we're going to be changing the dry out to 70 and our wet out, our wet out, nice. Uh, our wet out to 12. And you should get a cool reverb sound like this. So in most cases, you don't want your reverb on your whole entire clip. And the easiest thing to do is just figure out where you want your reverb to start. And in this case, we're going to start right here. So we're going to click on your layer and we're going to split the layers. And we're going to go to our bottom layer where we don't want the reverb. And pretty much we can delete that reverb off of that layer and figure out where we want the reverb to stop. And in this case, we're going to do on the shot right here. So we're going to split the layer again on your layer that you don't want the reverb. Go over your, your effects controls and delete that reverb off that layer. So the next thing that you could do is add your gun sound effects and your whooshes. And in this case, we're going to be using Blaze's shotgun sound effects. And what we're going to do is we're going to be grabbing our shotgun sound effect, put it below our layer, click double L. And I'll be leaving a couple of these sound effects down below if you guys want to use them. So we're just going to be lining up our shot right here. And we're going to be clicking shift L to bring up our audio levels. And we're gonna put an audio keyframe right there. And we're gonna be putting another one right here. And we're gonna turn this one down. So it kinda has that big ramp into our shot. And we're gonna be going ahead after the shot a little bit and turning it down just a couple keyframes, maybe like negative four. And then it go farther into our line and have it fade out quite a bit. Once you've done that. Next thing we can add, we can add our, like our bass impacts, throw that in. Super simple, double L. We're actually gonna cut this off. And it's just a simple bass impact. Everyone always wants to know what it was or how to find it. And here you go, now you have it down below in the link. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Hopefully you guys learned some today. If you did, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe down below. Love you guys, and I'll catch you guys next time.